Hi there guys, um, we're here at the British Shooting Show. Not much to see at the moment, except for an interesting number plate. I'm uh, here with Thomas. Hello. And his girlfriend Laura, who's just gone for a wee, because she's desperate. Um, so yeah. Desperate for a wee, that is, not yes. just desperate. Well, yes. Yes. Well, she's a bit desperate, because she's your girlfriend, Thomas. <laughs> um, anyway, we've not been here before, but it's in, in Warwick, so it wasn't didn't take us very long to get here, to be honest, so that was good. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay. So yeah, we've uh, brought Rod Dog with us. He's dressed as Biggles today, for some reason. <laughs> Don't jip his jacket. <laughs> so he's just having something to eat before we go in. Having his breakfast. Falling down with rain. But uh, never mind. You can get you in there. Mm. You can shove right up. Thanks very much. Thanks. It's lonely there. I'm not even sure that should be in there. Well, at least it's safe. I've got enough money to buy a shotgun, technically, but not an expensive one. I don't want to buy something crap, but it's tempting. Small English side by side. Oh, Evil assault rifle. rifle. Yeah, firing two two long rifle. That's pretty full cool, though. Mm. Four two nine as well. That's really cheap. Obviously, obviously second hand, but yeah, make it cheaper. Some dodgy make I've not heard of, but it's nice. Uh, 50 PNG. Can't be using the Olympics. That's when 
can have a raised red. Price to match as well. Eighteen gram, twelve gram. Eight thousand dollars and seventy-five quid. That one's twelve thousand seven hundred and fifty quid. It's very nice though. It's a Diana P1000. Tom actually won one of these in last year's show. And he's still not got it yet, have you? Yeah, getting it soon. Getting yeah, it soon, apparently. But it's quite a nice looking thing. Basically the same as the Wire, Wire Arc HW100. But, uh, but two-piece stock, it's very rare, isn't it? Yeah. It's a nice looking thing, actually. Ooh. I like that. It looks a lot better in the flesh, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. The adjustable butt piece as well. Yeah. It's a bit tight at the moment. The diner have never made a PCP before, hence the problem they've been having with it. But uh, it's not too long either, I thought, because the one we saw hadn't got the silencer on it, but it looks alright with the silencer on it. Yeah, it? it does, yeah. It's a bit long, but... Well, it's, it's probably about the same length as our S310s, isn't it, really? Yeah, uh, roughly. I don't think there'll be much in it. Further forward, much further forward, though. Yeah, it's, a, it's thicker as well. Yeah. Much thicker. It's a nice looking gun. Because mm. Diana make lots of spring, very good quality uh, yeah. springers. They're sort of known for that. I don't think that's a huge amount of money either for that. £350 for a decent quality underleaf. But... No, it's good. It's not stupid, is it? Well, that'll be every bit as good as a wire arc, I would have thought. Probably better, actually. Maybe. So, yeah. It's a bit like on my browning. The price. Oh, Twenty-eight thousand four hundred ninety-six pounds. I'll have two, please. <laughs> well, it's not surprising George Digweed um, shoots from them. It's a, I think he is sponsored. Well. It's a gorgeous looking gun. Yeah, that, that, that one especially. I really like that. Yeah. Get that. On a firearm stick for hunting, I, I don't think. I don't know if I don't know if you, you might be able to see. Yeah, much the 2 2 semi auto That's basically an AR 15 type gun. Holding stock. Holding well. stock. 2 2 long rifle. Focus on that. 620 quid. Not, it's not a lot of money. No. Very good ammunition. For what you're getting. Oh, yeah, it's a hell of a thing. Another one there. New Browning A5. We're actually about to enter a competition to try and win one of these. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed, you never know. Mouses and um, glasses. That is metal, that one. So do you think that's like that just for demonstration yeah, purposes? Yeah, fitting or something. Yeah, there must be a fitting gun or something. Yeah. I don't know. Not cheap. 410. Yeah. Under lever. Yeah. I don't think that they're not, apparently though, they're not very, um, well, generally anyway, these under lever shotguns aren't very good at uh, with the shells, they're really fussy. Right, okay. Like ejecting them. Yeah. They eject out of the back here. Uh, that's the shoot. Uh, that's the. Oh. Yeah, these are uh, custom hearing caps. That's just foam, I think. Look how much they are. Oh. Oh. Someone's having some fitted there. How much are the, um, these, the safe sound? Mm -hmm. How much are they? Um, they are those are yellow, those are 50. 50 pounds. Right. It's the safe sound you were after in particular. Well, the ones That's I wanted were the Sens, but they're, the Sens, they're a lot of money, aren't they? 
365. 365, all right, okay. Well, still, it's been on the objection, but... So th these are uh, just solid foam, yeah. I take it? Uh, yeah. We have 17 different types, because we've got different levels where you can stop off at. Right. So it can be quieter or noisier. Okay. And then there's this one, yeah. which is the mechanical one. Oh, so yeah. And that obviously cuts out the sound when you get a, a shotgun or going off. Oh, I've much? been videoed once already this weekend. I bet you so are. I'm most unnerving. <laughs> no, so I'm not getting your face, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so how much is the mechanical one? Dog. <laughs> this dog's being weird. <laughs> Look at him. What's the matter? Hey? For some reason, he's decided to go to sleep on his face. And he's drawing a crowd. <laughs> Oh, he's so stupid. Come on, Rod. Rod, come on. Come on. Come on. Boy. Not easy. What you've done. <laughs> 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 We all begin. Hi there guys. Uh, so yeah, we're back in the car again. That's all sort of uh, done with for another year. Um, it's a good show. It's pretty good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah we had a good it, was, time. it was certainly bigger than last year. There was, there was quite a few flat stalls we didn't actually look at. Was there? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's, quite, it's quite sort of hard to find your way around to an extent, but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Lost, didn't we? yeah, we did. In we did, but to be honest, um, it was going to be. I mean, I spent an obscene amount of money. Uh, so, yeah, to be honest. Um, but I bought a very, very nice knife of the Damascus blade, and so did Tom. Yep. And um, I managed to buy some double aught buckshot, weirdly, which I didn't think you could get in the UK, but it turns out you can. Um, as well as some like number three, three-inch magnums, which we'll be trying out, and. Uh, I bought a few other bits and pieces, so uh, so yeah, I'm hopefully hopefully going to knock something together that's fairly reasonable. So um, we'll have to see. I don't know if there's a few, couple of bits I might m make another video or something. So I'll see how it turns out. Um, but anyway, as I always say, like and subscribe. <laughs>